All right, here's my Jeep Pokra. And uh, as uh, Nick Johns posted a video a little while ago about his Jeep Pokra uh, redecorating, well, you can see mine has just completely uh, destroyed her entire enclosure. It used to look, you know, something like that. But she obviously thought that that was not adequate. So here we go. She should uh, snag this right away. And there it is. As always, I think the fang is through the cricket's eye, which is pretty brutal. But yeah, she's been doing very well. Uh, as you can see, like I said before, she completely destroyed everything. But I just gave up. Because every time I would redecorate it or redo it, she would just destroy it again. So, But she's been doing well. She's awesome. And uh, let's go on to the next one. Alright, next here is my C. Darlingi. He's down in this little hole over here. Right there, you can see a leg. So let's see if I can get the cricket to go down in there. Just miss it. I'm trying to get the right frickin' angle here. It sucks. Oh! Damn it. I just missed it. Sorry about that. Right there. And she is gnawing on the cricket's face. All right, let's go on the next one. All right, this is my Parafyza Skofra. She hasn't eaten in a while, I don't think so. Hopefully she should uh, grab it. She's got a big old butt. I think that was actually just defensive. Grumpy. Alright, well she might not be hungry. I don't know. Let's see, let's try it one more time. Well, she attacked it, but she didn't uh, grab it. So I'll leave it in there, and if not, I'll just take it out. But she's uh, pretty freaking gorgeous with those copper pinkish hues. Um, they're absolutely awesome. She doesn't look to be in pre-malt. She might be in... Yeah, she looks... She looks alright. She might be early, early pre-malt, but... Know, maybe she's just grumpy. Alright, so I'll leave it in there. If not, I'll take it out uh, later. Alright, next... Alright, here is my uh, LP, Lassidori Per Habana, and uh, here we go. Just threw like four crickets in there. Holy crap. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> wow. That was quite obnoxiously awesome. That was definitely the best attack today. That is for sure. Get these other crickets to go down here. Hold on a second. Everybody's running for the hills here. There's another one. There's some more back there, but there's one there too. Wow, that was pretty ridiculous.
<laughs> LPs are freaking awesome. But yeah, she's been doing pretty fantastic. Um, she's just been chilling. She likes to sit in her little cup there, which I do want to redecorate -de her house when she molts again. Um, she does have a big old frickin' butt. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to go back and kind of redo it, make it look, look a little bit more natural, if you will. Um, you know, use some cork bark and. Uh, spice it up a little bit if you will so all right well she got those two that was pretty freaking ridiculous she's got a couple more crickets there to get so all right uh, I tried to throw a cricket and feed my GBB earlier but she didn't seem very interested um, I'll try later on tonight or tomorrow I think the cricket might have just been too big for her. Um, so I'll see if I can find a smaller one but uh she's been doing pretty well if you guys can see that somewhat uh, but yeah she's been doing well like I said and uh, she's just chilling. She webbed it up quite a bit there, which I don't know how much you can see. But, uh, so yeah, I'll try to feed her again. Maybe tonight or tomorrow. I threw a cricket in there, like I said before. It was a little bit too big, I think. So, uh, other than that, she's doing all right. Uh, but yeah, she's been doing well, like I said. And uh, she's just chilling. She webbed it up quite a bit there, which I don't know how much you can see. But, uh, so yeah, I'll try to feed her again. Maybe tonight or tomorrow. I threw a cricket in there, like I said before. It was a little bit too big, I think. So, uh, other than that, she's doing all right. All right, here's my bee, Bomi. Uh, and uh, here we go. Squish as always. All right, well, we'll leave it in there. Um, if she doesn't need them by tomorrow morning, then I'll just take them out, so. All right, all right. Next up is my always hungry Acanthoscuria genicolata. She was just attacking the water. I was giving her kind of, you know, putting some more humidity in there and spraying the substrate and stuff, and she was already attacking that, so I know she's gonna be freaking ready to scarf these down. All right, here we go. Two. She's got two freaking crickets in her mouth. There's the last one I threw in there. She knows. And there it is. But yeah, these are absolutely one of my other favorites for sure. She has three freaking crickets in her mouth. What a pig. Now she's going to do a little bit of a happy dance for us. Put on a nice show. Oh, good lord. She can barely even keep those crickets in her mouth. <laughs> but yeah, she's doing fantastic. Um, she likes this little cave area house I made for her, so oh the crickets are struggling. Oh 
But yeah, she's been doing good, so that was one of the best attacks um, besides Lucy. So let's go on to the uh, last two. Alright, here's my mature male A. Avic. Oops. Nope. If he is, he's not going to get it now. Let's get the light here so you can actually see him. There he is down there being a goofball as always. So, he usually gets it. Gets the crickets, uh, you know, whenever it's late at night, after there's no lights on and there's nothing, nothing going on in this room. So, but he's been doing good. Hey, before he uh, matured out, I used to be able to tong feed him all the time when I first got him. Um, he just he'd get the crickets right off the tongs, but ever since he matured out, um, he's just been real picky about eating. So, all right, last up is my pink zebra beauty. Eupalestris campestratus, the second tea that I bought after Rosie, uh, the one that died a couple months ago. So she's always in her log, so here we go. She wants him or not. <clears throat> I don't think she's in pre-malt. Well, either way, she got him. She will get him. Unless she's in pre-malt, and once again, I'll just take him out. So. Alright, well, I just want to say thanks, uh, everybody, for watching. Um, I do have a question for some of my subscribers. Um, I'm looking to in either March next month in March or in May uh, purchase my first uh, snake um, I'm most likely thinking corn snake but some good websites or where maybe where you have you know bought from or who you bought from you think a corn snake would be the best that's what I've read um, you know as far as um, monthly feeding cost you know that kind of stuff or anything that information you have on uh, snakes that would be helpful I would very much appreciate it once again guys thanks for watching and uh, there'll be more to come soon